Hello everyone, myself Dr. Deepa Bevingidar, working as Associate Professor in SG Palakundri Engineering College, Belgavi. Today in my video, we are going to study numerical methods. I will be explaining what is a numerical method and what are the methods. Here we are studying two methods. One is Regula Falsi method and Newton Rapson method. Before taking actual methods, let us discuss what are numerical methods. So numerical methods are very important tools for engineers and scientists. Even we can solve by using analytical methods. There are, but there are limitations for analytical methods. Next comes graphical method. Graphical method is simple but it gives a low degree of accuracy. So numerical methods give very good accuracy in calculating. So numerical methods are very important tools now. In numerical methods, we use that is called as iterative iteration process. What is iteration process? Iteration means repeated. The same process is repeated in each step. Same process is repeated in each step. Iteration means repeated steps. Repeated process or repeated steps. Here we use in calculating the one step, we use the value of the preceding step. Value of the preceding step. So in this way, by applying the same process and taking the value of the preceding step, we get the accurate value. This is called as numerical method. In this method, for engineering mathematics too, we have two methods are there. One is regular falsi method and other one is newton rapson method. One is regular falsi method or it is also called as false position method or it is also called as false position method. Both are same. Second method is that is Newton Rapson method. Newton Rapson method. It is also called as NR method. In shortcut, it is also called as NR method. So for your syllabus, these two methods are there. These two methods are used to so find the solution for algebraic equations and transcendental equations. Algebraic and transcendental. What is algebraic? Algebraic means equations containing x, x cube, x square plus 4x like that. These are called as algebraic equations. Transcendental equations means equations containing logarithm term, trigonometric term, metric term or exponential term. These are called as etc. These are called as transcendental equations. So by using these two methods, we can find the solutions or we can find the roots of the equation of algebraic as well as transcendental equations. Now we will study what is regular falsi method or false position method by taking the one by taking one example. Before that one rule is there that is if we consider one root one interval a b. So interval means this is a real number line this suppose we take a here and b this represents interval we say that one root x1 is said to lie in the in this interval only if if suppose f of x is given function it may be algebraic or transcendental it is a general rule what i am explaining so f of x is one equation what we have to do First, we have to find out f of a is equal to, we will get one value. 
it may be positive or negative then we have to find out f of b again we get one value then we have to check whether x1 lies in this interval or not for that one we have to find out f of a into f of b if this product is a negative that is less than 0 then we say that this x1 lies in this interval then f of a if it is positive and it is negative or it may be this may be negative or this may be positive but condition is one should be positive one should be negative then in this interval this x1 lies and again if we take the nearer values this interval goes on decreasing so if you take more number of iterations then we'll get the inter very small interval here so this is about regular falsi method or false position method let us take one example on this let's solve examples based on the regular falsi method uh, students better i suggest better you take one pen pencil and calculator be ready with this so that it is easy to understand and if you solve with me then you will become perfect in this procedure so let us consider one example that is x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 this is given example what we have to write first write down f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5 this is algebraic equation what we have to do as i have explained now we need to find out the interval that is to find the interval we have to check f of a into f of b less than 0 so how to find out a and b to find out a and b we have to start with 0 1 2 3 or minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like that in the in such a way that we should get one f of a positive or negative another should be negative or positive so that their product becomes less than 0 for that one we will start with 0 f of 0 what we will get here if you substitute x equal to 0 here we will get minus 5 next substitute 1 what we will get here it is 1 minus 2 minus 5 again it is minus 6 next this is also minus and this is also minus so i cannot take this as the interval because both are minus check next one f of 2 what we will get here 2 cube minus 4 minus 5 answer is minus 1 minus 1 again it is negative next consider f of 3 what we will get here it is 3 cube minus 2 into 3 minus 5 it is f of 3 is 16 f of 3 is 16 you can do this with calculation calculator also now check here i have minus 1 and here it is 16 so one is negative one is positive stop here only we will get the interval that is 2 3 always write down the smaller first and then one then bigger one because always interval is denoted like that smaller to bigger now root lies in this interval first our job is to find the interval so f of a f of b interval a b okay why we have taken again i want to make it perfect that is why we have to take f of a into f of b less than zero if it is the condition then root lies in that interval here one is negative one is positive it implies root lies in this interval so interval is 2 3 where root lies this is our first job root lies so here a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 then f of a f of a means already we found f of a is f of 2 f of 2 is minus 1 and f of b that is f of 3 is 16 write down all the terms clearly then write the formula so by regular falsi method formula is first iteration first iteration 
formula is x1 is equal to a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. This is the formula for regular falsi method. So first we will find out first iteration that is x1 by substituting all these values in the formula. For that one first let us substitute these values in the equation in the formula. So x1 is equal to it is a, a is 2, f of b is 16 minus b, f of a is minus 1 divided by f of b minus f of a. This is the formula. So just substitute in this and answer will be, just you also try, answer will be 2.05882. This is our x1. That is x1, write it clearly, 2.05882. This is x1. It completes one iteration. As I have told, in the numerical methods, we follow the iterative procedure. What is iterative procedure? Same process is applied in the next step. But in next step, we take the value of the preceding step. Only you have to follow that. One iteration is over now. Now we will take second iteration. Second iteration. So for second iteration, what we have to find out? First find out f of x1. So f of x1 means in the given equation, equation was f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5. In this equation, substitute 2.0582. x is equal to 2.0582. You will get, just substitute here, 2.0582 cube minus 2 into 2.0582 minus 5. Answer will be minus 0 0.3908. You also check the answer. So this is negative. Next what we have to do? We have to take the interval. How to take interval? Again one positive, one negative. For that one, for a better understanding, I will write a, b, x1. a is our a is 2 and b is 3 and x1. Now we got it. 2.05882 and f of a is f of 2 is minus 1 and f of 3 is f of b is what is f of b? f of b is 16 and f of x1 we have got it minus 0 0.3908 these three you have to consider and out of these three you have, you have to take one positive and one negative see here f of b is positive f of x1 is negative we have to conclude that root lies in this interval. We cannot take this because it is negative. So one should be positive, one should be negative. So we conclude that root lies in the interval. The root, you have to write it clearly. Root lies in, always write down smaller one first, 2.05882, you have to write it clearly. 2.05882,3. So here our new A is, this is A and this is B. And F of A will be, this is F of A and this is F of B. And formula will be same. Only here we have to write X2. X2 is equal to, this X1 becomes X2 and it is second iteration value. So, x2 is equal to a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. We will substitute here. x2 is equal to 
our new a is 2.05882a and f of b that is f of b is 16 minus b f of a is minus 0 0.3908 divided by f of b minus f of a and answer is calculate answer is 2.05882 into 16 minus 3 into minus 0 0.3908 divided by 16 minus minus 0 0.3908 in one step you can calculate by using calcium put brackets here for easy calculation and avoid silly mistakes you will get x2 is equal to 2.0813 so x2 write it in block highlight your answer always x2 is equal to 2.0813 just observe here this is our x1 and we have taken here root lies in the interval 2 3 just why we are taking iterative process just i will make it understand so here it is 0 first why what we concluded root lies in the interval 2 3 then or else i will take like this this is the interval 2 and 3 so first we have taken root lies in the interval 2 3 and what is our answer it is somewhere here 2 point this is x1 so it is our new interval we are getting little bit closer interval or small interval this is our x1 whatever answer you will get that x1 it should lie in this interval suppose your answer is less than 2 or greater than 3 then it is wrong always check your answer whether it lies in, in this interval or not next what what is the answer x2 is 2.08 this is 2.05 and 2.08 so here this is x2 always it should lie in the interval then only your answer is correct so 2.0588 to 3 so here it lies our new interval is like this so if you go on taking the iterations you will get the correct accurate value now for each problem better you take minimum three iterations let us take third iteration for that one you have to find out f of x2 this is third iteration f of x2 that is substitute this in this given equation 2.0813 cube minus 2 into 2.0813 minus 5 calculate this its answer is minus 0 0.1473 now it is f of x2 again we have to find out the interval for that one for that one a b x1 x2 then f of a f of b f of x1 f of x2 once you practice the problems it is not required to write down all this easily we will get to know the interval so what is f of a f of a is minus 1 f of b is 16 f of x1 is minus 0 0.3908 f of x2 is minus 0 0.1473 so again observe here this is negative this is also negative we cannot take negative so this is positive we can take this one as the our new interval so we uh, that the root lies in the interval root lies 
in what is x2 here x2 is 2.0813 and b is it is 3 2.0813 so our new root lies in this interval for third iteration again same formula here what is a a is 2.0813 b is 3 f of a that is f of 2.0813 is minus 0.1473 and f of b is f of b is 16 now x3 is equal to again formula is same a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a is equal to a is 2.0813 f of b is 16 minus 3 f of a is minus 0.1473 divided by f of b minus f of a. Calculate it and answer will be x3 will be 2.0897. This is x3. So our values just I will write here x1 is 2.05882 and x2 is 2.0813 x3 is 2.0897 always these values will be very near and you won't get one value 2 point something other value 3 then definitely it is wrong your values should be very near then finally you have to write therefore the root is root is whatever answer you will get in the third iteration that you have to write that is a better approximation so in this way you can continue to get the accurate solution this is one problem now let us consider next problem let us consider next example that is x log x to the base 10 minus 1.2 Always you have to check whenever logarithmic function is there, you have to check this base. If base is given, then 10 is given, then in Kelsey you have to take log. If base is not given or if base is given as e, you have to take lamp. This is very important. If you take here log to the base 10 is there, if you calculate by taking lamp, then definitely problem will be wrong. That you have to please remember that log and lamp, that is the difference. So again, what we have to do by using regular fancy, we have to solve this problem or we have to find the root of this equation. First step is always write down f of x is equal to x log x to the base 10 minus 1.2. We have to find out the interval. For that one again put x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 like that to get one positive and one negative. For that, first I will check f of 0. You will get if you put x equal to 0 here, this will be 0 minus 1.2. Then substitute f of 1, that is x is equal to 1. Here 1 log 1 is 0. Again we get 1 minus 1.2. Then take f of 2. Substitute x is equal to 2 here. 2 log 2 to the base 10 minus 1.2. Check this value. It is f of 2 is equal to minus 0.5979. Better you also calculate. Then again this is also negative. This is also negative. We cannot take the interval. Take f of 3. Substitute x equal to 3 here. 3 log 3 to the base 10 minus 1.2. Calculate it. Its answer is. 0.2314 it is positive now we can stop one is positive and this one is negative so root lies in the interval 2 3 because 
f of 2 into f of 3 is negative. One is negative, one is positive. Here only you stop. You cannot take this one positive and this one negative. Because always consider the interval nearer one. This one is also correct. You may get the answer. But you have to take more number of iterations. For that one, always take nearer values. Actually, that there should be 0.1 difference only. But here we will take 2, 3 and we go on iterating it. So, root lies in the interval 2, 3. Okay. So, A is equal to 2. B is equal to 3. F of A. That is F of 2 is equal to minus 0 0.5979. F of B is equal to. That is F of 3 is equal to. 0 0.2314. First iteration. Regular falsi method. What is the formula? X1 is equal to. A. F of B. Minus. B. F of A. Divided by. F of B. Minus. F of A. We will substitute these values. A is. 2. F of B is a point two three one four minus three. Okay, A F of B minus B F of A point five nine seven nine divided by F of B F of B is point two three one four minus F of A F of A is minus point five nine seven nine. Calculate it. Its answer is x1 is 2.7209. 2.7209. x1 is equal to 2.7209. Just check whether this answer lies in this interval or not. 2, 3 is the interval. 2, 3 and 2.7209. Somewhere here it will come. Or somewhere 7 means here. 2.7209. So root lies in this in this interval. So our answer is correct. Next we will take second iteration. Second iteration. Again we have to find out the root. The uh, interval. Before that we have to find out f of x1. f of x1 is equal to. In this equation substitute 2.7209. 2.7209. Log 2.7209 minus 1.2. So, f of x1 is, it is, f of x1 is equal to minus 0 0.0172 minus 0 0.0172. Again, we have to check the interval. What is a? a is 2. f of a is minus 0 0.5979 and f of b is 0 0.2314 f of x1 is minus 0 0.0172 just observe this this is our f of x1 and this one is positive so we can consider this as the interval so root lies between x1 and B. You cannot take this as I have told, as I have explained. Root lies, therefore, the root lies. X1 is 2.7209. Root lies in the interval. And B is, that is, B is equal to 3. Root lies in this interval. This is our second interval. Next, we will find out the root, new root that is x2. So, x2 is equal to a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. That is same, same formula. So, this is a, this is b. So, a f of b and f of a is, that is f of 2.7209 is minus 0. 0172 and f of b that is f of 3 is f of b is it is 
0.2314. Now we will find out x2. x2 is a that is 2.7209. f of b 0.2314. And right here minus b is 3. f of a is minus 0.0172 divided by f of b minus f of a 0.0172 so calculate this x2 will be 2.7209 into 0.2314 minus 3 minus 0.0172 divided by 0.2314 minus minus 0.0172 what is the answer answer is 2.7 7402. So, x2 is equal to 2.7402. Again, check this. Whether it lies in this interval or not. Yes, 2.72 and 2.74. Then definitely 2.74 will come here. It lies in that interval. Then our answer is correct. Next, we will take third iteration. For third iteration, we have to find out f of x2. Third iteration, find out f of x2, f of x2 is equal to, again substitute 2.7402 in this equation, answer that is unright again, 0 to log 2.7402 to the base 10 minus 1.2, its answer is f of x2 is minus 0 0.00038. So again this is negative. f of x2 is negative. And f of x1 is that is also negative. So you cannot take f of x1, x2, x1 and x2. So we have to go back. That is we need to consider f of b only. Or else I will write here f of a f of b, f of x1, f of x2 and f of a is minus 0 0.5979, f of b is 0 0.2314, f of x1 is minus 0 0.0172, f of x2 is minus 0 0.00038. So these two are, these two both are negative. So you cannot consider these two. If it is negative, we have to go back and whichever is positive, that we have to consider. So this is positive. Therefore, root lies in this interval, x2, b. What is x2? x2 is 2.7402 and b is, b is 3. So root lies in the interval, root lies in the interval. That is x2 2.7402 and 3. Now we will find out that is x3. So a is equal to 2.7402. B is equal to 3. And f of a that is f of 2.7402 f of 2.7402 it is minus 0 0.00038 and f of b that is f of b is 0 0.2314 0 0.2314 now we will find out x3 no need to write down the formula again and again if you write it in the first iteration, then it's okay. So, don't waste your time by writing the formula again and again. x3 is equal to a f of b 2.7402 minus into 0.2314 minus b f of a 0 0.00038 divided by f of b 
minus f of a answer is calculate it so x3 is equal to it is 2.7406 2.7406 this is x3 again check whether this root lies in the interval or not 2.7402 it is 2.7406 definitely it lies in this interval so our answer is correct finally you have to write on the roots and one final answer that will be your third iteration value so the root of the given equation is root of the equation is is x is equal to 2.7406 this will be your final answer let us consider next example that is on a trigonometric function so now third example is cos x is equal to x e raised to x here trigonometric function is there when trigonometric function is there first observe the equation if trigonometric term is there then keep your calci in radian mode that is very important if you calculate it directly then definitely your answers will be wrong so trigonometric term is there then keep your calci in radian mode solution first we have to take f of x is equal to cos x minus x e raised to x i hope you have kept your calci in radian mode then again we have to find out the interval f of 0 is equal to it is 1 cos 0 is 1 and this will be 1 f of 1 so calculate it f of 1 is minus 2.18 minus 2.18 so here 1 is positive 1 is negative so root lies in the interval 0 1 root lies in 0 1 in this interval next by regular falsi method first iteration first iteration what is the formula write on the formula here x1 is equal to a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a so a is 0 b is equal to 1 and f of a is 1 and f of b is minus 2.18 x1 is equal to a it is 0 so anyhow it will be 0 minus b f of a it is 1 divided by f of b minus 2.18 minus f of a answer is answer is point three one four five so x one is equal to point three one four five interval is zero to one point three one four five it lies in this interval interval is zero to one point three somewhere it will be here point three so it lies in the interval so our answer is correct this is first iteration let us take second iteration second iteration before solving second iteration we have to find out f of x1 f of x1 is equal to it is 0.3145 cos 0.3145 minus point 3145 e raised to 0.3145 e value you will get by shift lamp e will come just check in or can see cos 0.3145 minus 0.3145 shift lamp 0.3145 you will get the answer so f of x1 is 0.5202 point five two zero two now we find out the interval 
for finding the interval again i'll write here f of 0 is equal to 1 and f of 1 is minus 2.18 so next we find the interval and f of x1 is f of x1 is 0 0.5202 so f of a is 1 f of b is minus 2.18 and f of x1 is 0.5202 so this is positive, this is negative. So root lies in the interval x1, b. What is x1? 0 0.3145 and b is 1. Root lies, root lies in 0 0.3145 and 1. Next x2 is, so I'll write again, a is equal to 0.3145 b is equal to 1 f of a is equal to f of a is equal to 0 0.5202 f of b is equal to minus 2.18 so x2 is equal to x2 is equal to a f of b 0.3145 into minus 2.18 minus b f of a 0 0.5202 divided by f of b minus f of a answer is x2 is equal to 0 0.4466 this is x2 second iteration now we take third iteration third iteration for taking third iteration first we will find out third iteration first we will find out f of x2 f of x2 is equal to just substitute x2 is equal to 0.4466 in the given equation so f of x2 is point 2039 you also check the answer point 2039 then now f of a is 1 i'll take here only anyhow it is written so f of a is 1 f of b is minus 2.18 f of x1 is 0 0.5202 f of x2 is point 2039 so we have to take one positive one negative so this is positive and you can't take this so we have to take this one root lies in the interval x2 and b so therefore root lies in in what is x2 point two zero point double four double six and b is 1 root lies in this interval now our a is a is equal to point double four double six b is equal to 1 f of a is equal to point two zero three nine f of b is equal to f of b is equal to minus two point one eight. So x3 is equal to a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a answer is even i am writing one also here just when you refer this you will understand because b is one that's why b is equal to one i have written there its answer is x3 is equal to 0 0.4752
x3 is equal to 0 0.4752. So x1, x2, x3. Then final answer, therefore, root of the given equation is root is x is equal to 0 0.4752. This is the final answer. Sometimes in a regular falsi method, they may give example like find the fourth root of 32. Find the fourth root of 32. In like this also they may give fourth root of 32. In such cases what we have to take x is equal to let x is equal to 32 raised to 1 by 4. We need to find our fourth root. So we can write 32 raised to 1 by 4. If you raise to the power 4 x raised to 4 is equal to 32. Your f of x will be x raised to minus x raised to 4 minus 32. Again same way you can solve the example. They may give fifth root like that also. So let me summarize this what is a regular falsi method. What mistakes we do while solving the example and all. Just I will summarize in one minute. That is first of all we have to find out interval. Finding interval as I have told you always f of a f of into f of b must be less than 0 that is negative next write down interval a b then formula is x is equal to a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a take minimum three iterations and up to four decimals even your answer should be up to four decimal points so take first iteration second iteration third iteration after each and every iteration check your answer whether it lies in that interval or not that is very important compare your answers and avoid calculation errors and silly mistakes and if log to the base 10 is there take log in calci if log to the base e is there then take lan if trigonometric term is there then trigonometric term is there then keep your calci in radian mode these are the few important points to be remembered while solving regular falsi method problems and final answer you have to write one answer that is x is equal to if you find out three four iterations also and not writing the final answer you may not get full marks so always write down final answer x is equal to this completes regular falsi method if you like it then like comment share and subscribe my channel thank you